What's up, comic book fans? And welcome to Comics Icons. Now, JJ, what they call me. And today, we got more Fall of the House of X with the Invincible Iron Man issue number 16. And after seeing how Stark's Mark 72 and Mark 73 Sentinel Buster armor just tears through every Sentinel thrown at it, I want one. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, this Sentinel Buster issue is so big that each page is full size. No individual panels at all in this issue, just full length, full color, and full action. And if you need to go back and see how this new armor came to be, then I'll make sure to place a card at the top of the screen and a link at the end of the video to the playlist. But if you're ready to finally see what this massive Sentinel Buster armor is capable of, then you guys know what time it is. Let's get it. So we pick this issue up in the Australian Outback after Tony Stark has successfully put his plan into motion. And the previously thought warships have all been revealed as components to the new Sentinel Buster armor. And now this new ginormous machine absolutely towers over all of the other Sentinels and is finally ready for a beta test. We've seen plenty of times how huge the Stark Sentinels are, and they are massive. So comparatively, this Sentinel Buster is like celestial being. And Stark warns that if any of these Sentinels are being piloted by anybody, then they need to eject now because he's about to tear through all of them. As we then see the Sentinel Buster start to just pick these Sentinels out of the air like little insects. Meanwhile, Stark is now having the time of his life as he tests out the features of this beast of a machine. I told you, for him, this is the beta test. This thing was built out in space with all eyes watching Stark, so it's not like he could have just tested this thing before now. So he's literally learning everything as he goes. As we see him then even discovering a button that activates this huge cannon on his chest and calling it the Sentinel Delete Toggle. <laughs> and as Stark takes target practice on these Sentinels, he acknowledges that as he faces the bulk of these Sentinels in Australia, the X-Men were launching their counterattack. There was no holding back now, nowhere to fall back to. Either they'd all be dead by dawn, or Orcus would be destroyed, and the mutants would live to fight another day. Stark also acknowledges that he found out the hard way that he was his own worst enemy. He had put so many clever bits into his armors over the years that, that there was no simple magic bullet that he could use on the Stark Sentinels. So his only choice was to go big. Stupid big. But Stark knew that after he embarrassed Phalong by playing Possum, that Phalong wouldn't be able to resist flying into this battle. And of course, Phalong was there in a matter of minutes in his giant war machine armor, threatening to cut Stark out of his armor. But all Stark can think of at this moment is that he's thankful that as long as he's kicking the asses of these Sentinels, then they're not out shedding innocent blood. But Stark is also nervously watching his batteries during this battle, as this armor is the most power-hungry armor he'd ever developed. And here in the Outback, he's got no way to charge it back up. But to ensure that there'd be no civilian casualties in this fight, choosing the Outback was a small price to pay. Although Stark didn't realize that there were going to be this many Sentinels. <laughs> and it's quickly becoming clear to him that he'd unlikely destroy them all before his Mark 73 loses power. But Stark always planned on this being a one-way trip for both the Mark 73 and Stark himself. As the Sentinel Buster crashes down, more and more Sentinels converge on it. And as the Sentinel Buster gets up and begins to torch all of the incoming Sentinels, Stark thinks to himself that although Fei Long was one of his smartest and most cunning foes, Stark still knew exactly which buttons to push with him. And Stark yells for Fei Long to challenge him on the ground because Stark knew that Fei Long was smart but full of pride. So Stark would help him with the fall. So Stark then puts the Sentinel Buster on autopilot and ejects himself in his Mark 72 armor and then continues to taunt Fei Long threatening to scrap every last one of his Sentinels. 
And Tony's plan works as Fei Long flies in hot the moment that he notices Stark leave his Sentinel Buster. Tony, what are you doing? Fei Long questions. You could have joined Orcus. You could have worked for me and saved face by keeping the top job at your company. Now I have to kill you in this godforsaken desert. Then Fei Long lets out a huge blast on Stark that would have definitely ended him if it hadn't been for this new Mysterium armor. But the blast is still strong enough to see him start crashing down. Meanwhile, the autopiloted Sentinel Blaster armor snatches Fei Long's war machine straight out of the sky while Fei Long begins to go on a tirade, screaming that you're worse than useless, Stark. You are maintaining a rotten, corrupt, and dangerous world. Orcus needed to cut away the infection. But now as Stark sees Fei Long in the grip of his Sentinel Buster, and the Sentinel Buster is about to smash Fei Long in his war machine armor, Stark heads back inside to power this massive kaiju. But it's now noticeable that the Sentinel Buster is beginning to slow down, and Fei Long lets Stark know that even the strongest armors have a weak point. As Fei Long then manages to break free of the Sentinel Buster's grip, and then smashes through the massive machine's chest. All while telling Stark that he let him live because he thought it was funny watching Stark crash on Wilson Fisk's couch. But he's not laughing anymore. Meanwhile, as Stark is now back inside and plugged into the Sentinel Buster, as Fei Long tears through his chest, he's now left with very few options as he acknowledges that he destroyed almost half of the Sentinel fleet, but it was not nearly enough power was now failing he had a hull breach and his helmet was off and the last thing that he could remember was a piece of his cockpit coming loose and knocking him on the head he'd gone into this fight wounded but now he's feeling concussed as he began floating in and out of the waking world he was berated by a cacophony of alarms the mark 72 was telling him that he had more bogeys inbound to australia and the intruder alarm warned him that Fei Long was loose somewhere inside of the Sentinel Buster. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the issue. Man, guys, this Iron Man run has been dope to me. And I'm loving the art in this issue. It was kind of the main event. Because we got all full pages of this massive Sentinel Buster armor. So I really like how they did this issue. But now Stark is in big trouble heading into the next issue. So how do you guys think he'll get out of this jam that he's in now with Fei Long now loose inside of his Sentinel Buster suit? And how sick was it to see the 30 foot tall Stark Sentinels look like ants compared to the Sentinel Buster? This entire event, Fall of the House of X, has given us a, a nice strong ending to the Krakoa era in my opinion. And I can't wait to see what comes next. But I want to hear from you guys on how you guys like the issue in the entirety of this event so far. And do you feel like that it's doing the Kokoan era justice? But as always, you guys, if you enjoyed this video and this channel and you'd like to support the channel, then you could do so by joining the Iconic Fan Club channel membership. And I'll make sure to put a link in the description to join. But with your membership, you'll gain access to weekly interactive live streams with yours truly in front of the camera. And we could discuss everything that's been going down in these issues, preview what's to come on this channel, and we could even talk about issues that you'd like for me to go over in the future, as well as other comic book news. Plus, you guys will get loyalty badges, member shout outs, and more in these videos. Or you can donate to the channel with a super thanks. And if you're not able to do that, then you can still be a huge help to the channel by dropping a like, share, and subscribe in the comics icons for more icons in the comic book world. But ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. I'm out. Peace.